All right, so geometric series again. This time we're going to find the value of n. So question might be something like 9, 27, 81. This is a geometric sequence. If we add them all together, uh, how many terms will we have to add together to get 1,093? So how many? So we've got a, our formula here, a to the r, a times r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. Now, in this question, uh, this one's going to be 1,093. Uh, a is the first term, which is 9. Uh, the common ratio, 27 divided by 9, is 3. Uh, 3 to the power of, we don't know what n is, over uh, r minus 1. Um, and the common ratio is, is 3. So 3 minus 1 is just 2. Okay, um, now it's going to be tempting here uh, to expand those brackets, 9 times 3n, 9 times this. You can do that, but I think it just makes your life more complicated. The better way to go is to multiply everything by the bottom, multiply everything by 2, that'll get rid of the 2 from there. Divide everything by the 9, that'll get rid of the 9 from there. Uh, so the next line is going to be something like 1093 times it by 2, divided by... 9, and that's going to be 3n minus 1. Calculator. Alright, so geometric series again. Uh, this time we're going to find the value of n. Uh, so it's a question something like, here's our geometric uh, sequence, 1, 3, 9. Uh, we're going to add them together, geometric series, so 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus etc, etc. Um, now, how many terms would we have to add together to get 1093? So Sn, what's the n value for that? So our geometric series formula is a bracket r to the n minus 1 over uh, r minus 1. In this case, Sn is 1093. The a value, first term is 1. Um, the common ratio, 3 divided by 1 is 3. So 3 to the n minus 1 over r minus 1, 3 minus 1, which is 2. Okay, so pretty much from there we just need to rearrange this thing. Um, now, the 2, we can multiply by the 2. And the 1 here, um, if the 1 was a different number, like 5 or 7, you might be tempted to expand the brackets with, with and do 5 times 3n, 5 times negative 1. Uh, what's, what you're better off doing, though, is dividing by that number. So even though we don't need to divide by 1, I'm just going to put it in my working just so you can see what I would do if that number wasn't 1. So I'm multiplying by 2, I'm dividing by 1, not that that changes anything. And I get uh, 1093 times 2 over 1. So that's 2186 equals 3n minus 1. So 3 to the n equals 218. 7. And from here, uh, if, you've got, if you know something about logarithms, you could probably use logarithms here, uh, but you really want to know 3 to the power of what makes 2187. Uh, you can play around with your calculator a little bit. The answer is 3 to the power of 7. So our n value, if 3 to the power of 7 equals 3 to the power of n, then n equals 7. Uh, if you want to find out more about how to do that, make sure you come and talk to me and we, we can talk about how I've, how I've done that. Um, there's a couple of different ways to do it. All right, uh, geometric series, that's finding the value of n, how many terms I've got to add together to get a particular number.